Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm sharing my process of uninhibited and intuitive abstract painting through what I like to call painting intervals. So I'm working on a 14 by 14 inch or about 35 centimeter by 35 centimeter canvas and I've sped up the video. I often do these painting intervals over a day or two between my more structured painting projects and day-to-day -day busy work. So let me show you how this exercise started. So I started with a blank canvas and a variety of tools and acrylic paints and just started uh, without any direction and began putting down shapes with charcoal and paint with uh, big brush strokes and just looking for a direction, uh, reacting to, to whatever comes to mind. Um, in this exercise, there's, there's really no right or wrong. Uh, it's all about freeing your mind and, and letting your creativity flow. So in a nutshell, the idea behind doing painting intervals is to set yourself up to paint on one canvas over a day or two in between other art projects or doing the dishes or running errands or other activities. It gives you the opportunity to intuitively paint for you know, 10 to, to 20 minutes, stop, uh, do something else, then come back to it with fresh eyes and dry paint and keep going. Uh, often when I come back to it, I'll change the orientation, uh, you know, turn it upside down and, and paint with a different point of view. So the key to this process is not overthinking, uh, not overthinking your choices. Just grab a color that, that speaks to you at the moment. Uh, this can, can you know, really be a break from routine. Uh, there are heart, helpful art exercises. Um, you know, they kind of free, free your mind. Um, they allow you to play and explore without boundaries. Um, with this canvas, you know, I'm not aiming for a masterpiece. Instead, I'm having fun painting and experimenting with tools and colors and shapes. And usually my main goal is looking for ideas for future paintings, which I came away with several from this one. Um, if I end up with an engaging abstract painting, great. Uh, there were, were several places where I thought I should just stop or finish up the direction I was headed in. Uh, but <laughs> I was having too much fun. Um, with that said, you know, the final result, which literally you know, takes a turn uh, from, from where it seemed to be headed, you know, it, it's grown on me. I finished this, I put it up on uh, the wall of my studio and let it sit for a few days. And you know, at first I wasn't, uh, I didn't love it, um, but it, it really has grown on me and, and it's, it's really kind of engaging uh, the viewer to see all of the, uh, the layers that, that have gone into this. Um, and, and you'll see in the final painting, some of the things that I'm putting down now kind of show through. Uh, so um, you'll, you'll notice how I'm playing with, with um, you know, the different tools and, and colors. Um, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm using bold strokes, other times I'm scratching into the paint. I'm using a, a big silicone uh, bowl scraper um, to put on paint, move paint, uh, play with, with uh, a variety of colors. But right here at this point, I, you know, I, I really like that background. It's just becoming this kind of rich um, background with, with lots of character. And if, if you try these painting intervals, like I said, don't, don't worry about the end result. It's about exploration, um, playing with, with textures, you know, maybe mix some unexpected elements into it, paper, cardboard, unique colors uh, of paint, um, whatever you want to do. Um, just grab a tool and start playing with it. Uh, there's really no such thing as a mistake on these. 
And in the end, when you're done, if it looks like mud, okay. Uh, we all paint mud sometimes. Um, <laughs> more often than we probably like to admit. Um, but what I've found is, you know, I, I have several canvases that have kind of a muddy background and those really are excellent canvases to start a painting with. Um, they already have some character to it. To you, you know, when you're first looking at it, it looks like mud. But when you start painting over top of that, it really adds a richness to, to that painting. If you're enjoying watching this, feel free to, to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, other tutorials, art demos, and challenges, don't hesitate to subscribe. And as always, if you have feedback or questions or see something in the final painting or, you know, during the, this painting process, um, I'd love to, love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Another thing I love about this exercise, like I, like I mentioned before, is, is how the layers interact uh, and give a lot of character to the background. Um, one of my favorite aspects of the final painting, which I'll show you at the end of the video, um, is being able to see some of those layers in the background. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm using a variety of tools and colors. I'm, I'm using a blending brush right now to smooth the background and then bring in a brayer to add a, a little bit of uh, different texture over top of that and uh, you know playing with with different shapes um, scratching in this this part of the the uh, the painting um, was definitely one of the ideas it's something i'm going to explore on on a series of doing something with this obviously um, maybe not quite as raw as it is at this point but, but close. Um, I think it's got some, some energy, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But I, I like the direction this was going in. And this was one of those places that I felt like, you know, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should kind of go in the direction that this is, this is leading me um, and then just stop. But again, that wasn't the point of this exercise. This exercise is to keep, to keep painting. Now, I could have just kept going with this and and ended and grabbed another canvas. But uh, since I was recording this, I knew I could come back and see uh, what it looked like and, and see how I got there and utilize that in, in another painting. But uh, just putting down some, some yellow ochre with a you know, mix of, of titanium white and I believe a little bit of um, Prussian blue uh, mixed in there and putting down some different shades to uh, add some, some unique shades kind of in the background, or shape, excuse me, in the background. And this, this kind of painting is a fantastic way, or this kind of painting exercise, I should say, is a fantastic way to, to tackle artist block. Because you're focusing um, really on painting itself, the act of painting itself, and not you know, the expectation. You know, a lot of times we kind of force ourselves um, to think about the end result and and it's got to look good in a certain way and, and that just puts so much pressure on us. Um, but because you're, you're forcing yourself to paint without those expectations, you know, other than the act of painting itself, um, it, it really kind of helps you kind of work through some of those struggles. And, and most of the time when it comes down to it, you know, when we struggle or when we're stuck uh, or, or have artist block, which those are all kind of a version, you know, versions of, of artist block, I guess, it's about our expectations, um, our own self-imposed expectations and trying to be perfect uh, and comparing ourselves to others. And in, in intuitive abstract painting, every stroke is a, is a step in, in you know, your journey. 
Um, there's no judgments, no expectations, just pure expression. So mentally set yourself up for success when, you know, when you're doing these paintings or when you're doing any painting, I should say, so you can have fun, so you can enjoy it. Because when it boils down to it, that's, you know, that's why a lot of us do this is it's fun. So I'll show you the final painting coming up here um, and I'll, I'll show it in different orientations. And like I said, if you see anything in there, um, I'd, I'd love to, to hear what you see. I see something and I've shown this to a few other people that gave me completely different takes on what they were seeing. And it's just an abstract painting. I mean, it really is not supposed to represent anything, but it's kind of fun to uh, look at it and, uh, you know, Hear, hear what people see and hear the story that they have about what this, this painting is or, or represents. At this point of the painting, I started thinking, okay, this is very busy. Um, not 100% sure all those, those colors were working together. And this was getting near the end of, of that second day. So I thought, okay, well, let's, let's start wrapping this up and see if I can't turn this into something based on what I have. I had this um, bright neon orange uh, that I thought I would try and work into this someplace and, and that's where I've got it right there. But looking at this now compared to where it was um, earlier in the video where I had a lot of different shapes, um, it's, it's pretty different. But as I'm scraping paint away now, the underneath in the background, you can see some of those shapes peeking through, which again was, was part of this that I liked. So if you try this exercise, I know I have a couple other uh, videos that, that I'm doing something similar to this. Um, let me know how it goes for you. Here's the final painting different orientation. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's, it's not about creating a masterpiece, but about enjoying the process. So keep on painting.